Hello, welcome back to another Sea of Heroes slash Villains gameplay part 40. I'm Robert DZ. Last time I uh, continued continue doing missions, um, I fought a lot of enemies, I died like once, um, and that's it. So uh, let's continue. I'll have to read that later. If we recover the manual, excellent. Within its pages, we can determine what wickedness is at hand here. I'll have some answers for you in a few hours, and more than likely, I need, need your help uh, of your help once again. In the meantime, I, I've discovered something of interest that I think might solve our problems with these animus arcana. We've, we're making great progress, but we cannot let up now. I knew this would be a widely successful venture together, and I'm grateful to be part of it. Uh, that's not it. Spirit Center might be that one. Okay, yep, it's this one. Uh, after speaking with Mon um, Mont Monte Castanella, you agreed to help the dying souls of the Midnighters understand what ha happened to them after Percy, Winkle, uh, Percy Winkley betrayed them. But in order to do that, first you need to understand how and why the magic of the mansion had become the Animus Arcana. According to Montague's theory, the realm of Night Ward, in conjunction with Percy's death, was to blame for the malign magic, delving into the magical vault in within the Midnight Mansion. You were sent to secure an ancient manuscript known as Tremaine's Manual of the Dead, aka the Necromonicon, but it's probably, it's probably not that. Part two, take a number. I've been studying the magical wards uh, around the Midnight Mansion, specifically the points where the magic shattered and gave intelligence to the Animus Arcana. And I, what I found was interesting. There's a definite pattern at work here. Every point where the spell broke free and gained a spark of life was a spell laying da down by Percy Winkley. From what I got, he, when he died, the spells he wove into the mansion's main ward were acting in, in a way I don't fully understand. Ultimately, Percy's death gave them life. If we could return Percy Winkley to life, then perhaps the Animus Arcana would revert back to their previous state. Or at the very least, perhaps Percy could instruct us in how to get them under control. And now we're supposed to do that? And when Percy died, like any other living being, he soldiered into the Netherworld. Oh, sweet Netherworld. With being Coyote, we'll know how to track him down. If we are to, to return to Percy to do even a semblance of life, we cannot do that without his soul. Okay. There's a there's good news and bad news, I'm afraid. The good news is that Percy Winkley's soul is not lost. With the spirit realm merging with the realm of the living, the spirits of the recently dead cannot go to the next world. However, the bad news is that he is most certainly under the watchful eye of the drudges. The drudges are creatures native to the other world that are tasked with making sure the realm of the dead serves its function. Kiki! With all the the recent, I I'm only going to do like two of these, 
So, uh, when he's talking, with all the recent deaths in the world of the living, the drudges have started to move away from the spiritually of the spirituality of their duty and have instead adopted a rigid new system it is terribly efficient in ensuring this, that souls get to where they are going much more quickly. The trouble is the journey to the afterlife with a spirit guide was the whole point. Instead, the spirit guides who used to escort an individual soul on its spiritual journey to the afterlife now work tirelessly gathering up souls and bringing them to processing centers at the behest of the taskmaster's office. I wonder if the taskmaster has uh, just uh, is the master of task manager, just knows the ins and outs of the entire task manager. Uh, anyways. Uh, in return for d delivering souls, the taskmaster's office is paid in wax. Okay, wax keeps the drudge's spiritual flame burning. Without the spirits of the dead, the drudges get no wax, and without wax, the drudges fade away. Okay, just okay. So just don't call Mister Three. Got it. With Nightward apparently cut off from the rest of the nether world, the judges are a bit concerned. The taskmaster's office has set up a temporary central office to deal with the back of, of souls they've been, they've been receiving. If Percy's soul is still Nightward, we can find out where they, they're keeping him there. I'll show you where it is. Kiki! Or not, uh, I'll just find it myself. The Georges are definitely in here. The place smells like 10,000 birthday candles. And so I says to him, hey mate, you're dead, so shut your mouth and let's get on with it. Okay, just making sure they don't have anything else to say. Shooting at me. I guess that wasn't it. <laughs> hey, you ain't uh, loading here.
Must be up there. Does it say anything? Uh, it, it didn't find. Yeah, it just says it didn't find uh, Percy's record. I believe that this is all a test, a test to remind us of our true purpose. Okay. Uh, there's multiple paths. Purpose of which our only death is a part of the outsider. See how it is. I was waiting for it. Oh, I got rid of the guy that was giving me issues. Like, he was healing his teammates and he was uh, holding me a lot, so...
Okay. So, um, uh, uh the Bandicam decided to crash at, uh, 16 minutes. Um, so there is, uh, there was, uh, there was a recording after that, but it just uh, recorded the sound. So, pretty much all you missed was me fighting, um, uh, me fighting, uh, a lot of enemies, um, and talking to a lot of NPCs, um, so, uh, alright, so, let me, yeah, so, uh, you found Percy, so I must admit I was not sure how I would react upon seeing him once more, but despite all the evil he unleashed upon us that fateful day, and so, so I chose to believe, choose to believe that there is still some good left in him. Montauk's discrepant face twists into one of deep thought. And by the way, like, uh, like it tried to fix the, the 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 file, but it just it was just taking way too. It, it was taking forever, so I was like, you know what? I'll just go like, oh hey, here's what happened. So, if Percy was able to find the courage to sacrifice himself for another, then I too can find it in my heart to forgive his evil. Besides, there's a lot of work yet to be done. We need his help. If you, if ever you are in need, I'll be here, Captain Curl. Okay. Um. Yeah, you didn't really, you, you didn't really miss much. All right. So, and then it was this one. The manual promised to reveal a great deal of information. But Montag needed time to scour its ancient pages. In the meantime, he urged you to use whatever means necessary to locate the soul of Percy Winkley before the judges had processed him and sent him to the appropriate afterlife. The judges unwilling to speak to you on account of being an outsider put up a mean fight, but ultimately you forced one of their taskmasters to give you access to Percy's records. Discovering that Percy, along with thousands of other souls, were stuck waiting for transit to the next world, he hatched a plan to break him out of the psycho life and death, which was rapidly grinding to a halt as Nightward pulled the nether world further and further into the world of living. Uh, the judges did not take kindly to the disorder and did all, uh, did all they could, but it just wasn't enough to stop. Uh, you from completing your rescue mission. Ultimately, you struck a bargain with a drudge uh, taskmaster by the name of Car Carlisle. In exchange for fixing Nightwork, Carlisle gave you Percy's soul. Okay. Emotions. Back from the dead. Unfortunately, Percy is going to be difficult to work with. Without a familiar material to form, uh, to possess his attention appears clean and his memory is scattered. I did, however, plan for this contingency. Jermaine's Manual of the Dead has a number of sections pertaining to returning life uh, to the dead. Zombies, for example, are simply corpses uh, occupied by magic or soul that didn't originate in that vessel. The manual only touches vaguely on anything more elaborate. So I got to thinking, whatever Percy did to the rest of the Midnighters that I must have been be uh, based on Tremaine's in incomplete studies. So I went through Percy's notes and discovered that the ritual he used on us but there's a catch. We'll need to recover his physical remains. There's nothing left of him. Perhaps not of him, but from what I recall of our brief duel, his armor was nigh well vulnerable. It also certainly survived the ritual that curled Percy, uh, though it is probably no longer in one piece. I found Percy's helmet here in the mansion, take it and use it as a focus while traveling through the stable portal just outside the mansion's grounds. 
It will translocate you to where Percy fell. Find whatever parts of his armor and body that you can and bring them back to us. The ritual will remind them and fill in the blank spaces with magic. He won't be whole, but he'll be better than dead. Okay. So next time, like, the like the game crashes, I'll just, like, immediately stop the recording and then uh, once it's back up, I'll uh, start recording again. Because I, I don't want that to happen again. The only time it doesn't crash is when I'm not recording or streaming. So... Well, like, uh, well, yeah, well, okay, like, it does, it does crash when I'm not recording or streaming, but, like, it takes a very long time, uh, I would say maybe, like, three to five hours until it crashes, so... He stepped through the portal and into some familiar ca uh, caverns. The walls shudder and echo as the spirit world pres presses on all s in on all sides. Actually, hold on. All right, I'm going to end it early since I, uh, I had issues with the uh, recording earlier. Uh, so I'm sorry that this uh, recording is short. Uh, other than that, uh, tune in next time to uh, Sea of Heroes slash Villains Gameplay Part 41. This is Robot GZ, sign off.